hi again we're going to say the short circuit okay and we're going to see how to identify the short circuit in the laptop motherboard so let's get started so to identify the short circuit in the laptop motherboard we will use the multimeter okay so this is our multimeter and always we will use this option the buzzer option okay so let's put first the selector in the diode option or in the continuity option and then press the power button so i want to add that if you focus here in this motherboard as you can see we have here inductors you will find in the laptop motherboard a lot of inductors as you can see this is one inductor this is another as you see okay all these are inductors as you can see we have here also inductors okay in the cpu circuit so i want to tell you that the inductors or the coils okay in the laptop motherboard are always connected to the power line you will never find an inductor in the laptop motherboard that is connected to the ground okay never so when you use the multimeter and you check the continuity between inductor and ground okay you should not hear a buzzer you should not get a low resistance in the multimeter if you get a low resistance means you have a short circuit in the motherboard okay so you can locate the short circuit in the motherboard by checking all inductors in the motherboard the big inductors if you find an inductor that is connected directly to the ground means in that circuit there is a short circuit okay for example if you find that this inductor or this or this is shorted to the ground means in this circuit we have a short circuit okay the same if you find for example this is connected to the ground or this means the cpu circuit contain means we have a short circuit in the cpu circuit okay so let's check this motherboard using the multimeter okay so as you can see here we have our multimeter here okay so let's check these two inductors to the ground okay so let's put the black probe in the ground as you can see here this is ground okay so let's check first continuity the continuity is seated correctly so let's check this inductor as you see in the multimeter we have about 10 or yes about 9 8 ohms this resistance doesn't mean we have a short a short circuit in this inductor now because this resistance is for the cpu if we remove the cpu the resistance will increase so let's remove the cpu so if i remove the cpu so let's unscrew this screw as you see if i remove the cpu as you can see okay now let's check again the resistance here so let's put the black probe in the ground and then check this coil do you see do you see we have the resistance is increased let's check for example this coils also so this coil as you see okay this also we don't have any short circuit let's check this also as you can see no short circuit okay so let's check for example this motherboard as you can see as you see here we have the black probe in the ground and let's check this coil okay we have no continuity 
Let's check this token. This is for the CPU. As you see, we have a low resistance. As you see, also this. We have a low resistance here. But this resistance is for the CPU. Okay? It's for the CPU. Not if we remove the CPU, this resistance, as you see, will increase. Okay? So let's remove the CPU. Okay? So let's remove the CPU. As you can see. So this is the CPU. Okay? So let's check again the resistance. Okay? Now, as you see, I put the black probe in the ground. And let's check. So let's see the multimeter. Let's check. As you see, the resistance increased. Why? Because we removed the, the CPU. The resistance increased. But if I put back the CPU, so now I put back the CPU. So let's check. Let's put the black probe here in the ground. Okay. And then check this color. Do you see? We have 45, about 45. Means the resistance of the CPU. Not we have not a short circuit. So let's check these two coils inductors. Okay. So I should put one probe, the black probe in the ground. This is ground. Okay. Always this is ground. Also we have here ground. Here we have ground. Also here ground. Also here ground. So let's check these two inductors. So I have a short circuit. Here we have a short circuit, as you see. I have a low resistance. Okay, maybe the short circuit is in the CPU. So let's remove the CPU and check again. Okay, now I remove the CPU. So let's check again this inductor. Yeah, here I have a short circuit. Here I have a short circuit. So let's check this inductor also. Here we have a short circuit. So now we detect that in the CPU circuit of this motherboard, we have a short circuit. Why? Because these two inductors are connected to the ground directly. Normally, the inductor should not should not connect it to the ground. Always the inductor is connected to the power. For the CPU, the inductor is connected to VCC car, okay? The main voltage of the CPU means here we have problem. Also, because this is this is connected to the ground, we will find also all this component in the CPU circuit also is shorter to the ground. For example, capacitor. So let's check. As you see, the same for capacitor. Also this capacitor. You see, we have plus here. It means this circuit is shorted. So let's check this. Also, this PF capacitor. Normally, this PF capacitor should not be connected to the ground. So let's check. As you see, short. We have here also short. PF capacitor are short to the ground. So here in the circuit, in the CPU circuit, we detect that in the circuit we have. A bad component it's not the CPU because when we remove the CPU the short circuit still persists here so of course the component that can cause the short circuit is not the inductors okay but the capacitors the MOSFETs PF capacitors and diodes